Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here. So Adam Kalnatsky defeats Chris Ariola by a unanimous decision to move to 20 and oh, I've got to say I thoroughly enjoyed this fight and credit to both guys for putting on a hell of a show. Now going in, like 99.9% .9 of people, I was picking Adam Kalnatsky and I was actually picking Kalnatsky by a mid-round stoppage. Going into this fight, I felt Chris Ariola was long past his best and had seen better days. But to his credit, he really made a fight of it and he gave it a good go. Leading up to this fight, Chris Ariola said if he lost, he would retire. And maybe that's where the motivation came from and maybe that's why he performed so well. You know, he put his career on the line and he was fighting for it. And I've got to say, it made for a great fight. Don't get me wrong, I expected Ariola to give it a go, and I thought he would land some good stuff, but I just didn't think that he could make the distance. I felt he was completely dumb, but in this fight, he had plenty of success, it's got to be said. Both guys obviously aggressive, both guys with an extremely high punch output, sitting in the pocket, working each other over, but I just felt Kalnatsky in a lot of the rounds done that bit more. You know, being the fresher guy, the guy with less miles on the clock, he was the guy who was working that bit harder. And I felt that saw him through in quite a few rounds. Kalnatsky early on was quite impressive as well. He was the boss in the first couple of rounds. But Ariola came into it and had some good success himself. In particular, I felt Ariola was doing some really good body work, snapping some lovely hooks to the body with a lot of power into them. I would have liked to have seen Ariola concentrate on the body a bit more from earlier on and with more volume because the body shots Ariola was throwing they seemed quite effective and at times they just made Kalnatsky hesitant albeit for a few seconds but yeah Ariola had success being aggressive and letting his hands go ultimately Kalnatsky he's not hard to find defensively he's quite open and he's flat-footed so naturally when Ariola let go of his hands he found the target but like I mentioned earlier Kalnatsky was just that bit more active and and a bit more busier throughout the fight so yeah I felt Kalnatsky won this fight I wasn't really keeping score I can't lie I was just really sitting back and enjoying the fight but yeah credit to both men I felt Kalnatsky was the worthy winner but congratulations to Chris Ariola for putting on a good show you know he's been around for a long time you know he's never really been an elite guy in the heavyweight division but he's given us some good fights he's a fun fighter but hopefully now he retires and calls it a day as for Adam Kalnatsky I mean 20-0 he's certainly a contender they were talking about a Deontay Wilder fight for Adam Kalnatsky while I would watch it, I don't believe he's ready for the likes of Deontay Wilder. Stylistically, he just gives Wilder far too many opportunities to land that big right hand. He's so open defensively, it's unreal. And while Kalnetsky's pressure could give Wilder trouble if he gets on top of Wilder, you know, you've got to get to that position and you've got to get past that right hand. I would hazard a guess and say Deontay finds that right hand before Adam Kalnetsky can get on the inside. Ultimately, Kalnatsky, he's never going to be a defensive genius, but, you know, a few subtle improvements to Kalnatsky's defense would go a long way. For example, just a nice tight guard. Adam Kalnatsky does hold his hands high, but, you know, his guard isn't very tight. And another thing he does is the fact that he's very, he's very slow to bring the punches back. And again, that just results in far too many free shots for his opponents. Basically, right now, I don't believe Kalnatsky is ready for the likes of Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Andy Ruiz, or Anthony Joshua. I think he needs a few more fights to try to make some subtle improvements so that he would have a better chance of when he finally does step up at that level. But yeah, right now, I believe Kalnatsky needs a few more fights. Maybe someone like... Trevor Bryan could be a good shout. You know, Bryan undefeated, bit of a puncher, an American. I know Bryan is untested, but I think that could be a fun fight. Another fight I would love to see Kalnatsky in 
and I know it won't happen, but Kubrat Pulev. I think that would be a great test for Adam Kalnatsky. Ultimately, Kalnatsky now is pretty much a top 10 heavyweight, but he's rated the lower level of top 10. But he's not beat anybody in the top 10 ratings. Someone like Pulev would tell us a lot more about Adam Kalnatsky. Um, but yeah, performance from Kalnatsky was, you know, okay, I guess. I've heard people say the guy was exposed by Chris Ariola. I mean, I'm sure we all we all knew the guy had defensive flaws. We all knew he was there to be hit. We all knew he wasn't a big power puncher, more an accumulation puncher. I thought we knew all this already. I don't, I don't see how this guy got exposed. Literally nothing new was revealed about him in this fight as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, share your thoughts below. Tell me how you feel. Peace.